Hey everyone, Beth here from Corner Piece Studio. Welcome. If you're here for the first time, welcome back. If you're returning, um, if you like what you see, please please press my like and subscribe button so you can see future um, videos that come out and some other things that I w have created. Today I'm here to do my fun February makes. It's a collaboration between Angela from at Junk Journal Junction and Anna G from Making Joyful Journals. I will attach both their information down in the uh, description box below. Today I'm working on week two, which is February 14th. It says create a cluster using one piece of ribbon, two or more buttons and fabric. And the base of these is to be index card. So I used my two and a half inch punch to punch out a couple circles and I used my two inch scallop punch to cut a couple circles and I created three different three different uh, clusters here. So what I used, I had this these little boxes of scraps that I keep. Oops, let me move you out a little bit. I have these little boxes of scraps that I keep nearby when I'm sewing or when I'm creating journals because I use fabric a lot in my journals. So I keep these boxes handy. They have fabric in them. There's some string in them. There's ribbon in them. So there's a bunch of different stuff. And what you can do to make your own ribbon also is you take a piece of fabric, clip it, and rip it. Now I have a ribbon from fabric. So you can do that too. And that's what I did on one of these. Then I used a stapler to staple my ruffle together. I used Fabri-Tac glue to glue everything down. Then I also took this one to the sewing machine and stitched through my fabrics to hold it on after I had glued it and lastly this one is total glue all glue I glued fabric down I cut it around the circle when I was done so it was on there put another piece of purple on it made a bow then I glued some buttons on there that look like a flower these two buttons I sewed on see there's the stitch I tied this one in the front to give it a little a little bit of attitude and then this one I tied to the back because it had one of those posts that you have to uh, has one of those posts that you have to sew through so um, I I uh, did it that way so this is a three I am sorry that you're not seeing my process because my video stopped during the process and I lost it all so I decided to come in quickly and apologize for that and to show you what I did create for this week's fun February makes using a piece of ribbon two or more buttons and some fabric I know it says two or more buttons but I did not want to put two more more than one button on each one of those it didn't work right I did try to put some here it just took away from the color of the bow and the fabrics and I did use six buttons on that so maybe I make up for it here oh and one of the things I did in the beginning you notice that this index card is not doesn't look white real white like the other one I took my vintage photo distress inks and I stressed the edges and then I colored the center of it to kick back the white because I didn't want the white to jump out at me when I looked at my clusters I wanted to see my my design that I made so there we are for today um, thank you for stopping in next week for the 21st oh interesting is going to be using an index card without 
using glue. Oh, that'll be fun. That will be a lot of fun. So using an index card without using glue means you can pull out any of your other stuff, your stickers, your stampers, your um, bits and pieces of papers, anything that you want, you can pull out to use. So until then, you have a great day and have a good rest of the weekend. And I will see you in my next video. Remember, please like and subscribe in the corner there so you get to see what I create next time. And next time I will do the process online <laughs> so you can see what I do. So for now, take care and have an awesome weekend. Bye now.